Hello aspirants, uh, welcome to my blog IAS with Mahesh. So today we will be discuss uh, how much uh, importance uh, books for learning English uh, or whether we need to prepare uh, for the books or not. Uh, uh, this is a uh, true or myth. Uh, so, so many aspirants are getting doubts for this also. Which kind of uh, books we need to purchase uh, and which kind of uh, books we need to revise for learning English. Uh, so, uh, these are uh, Hey, everyone are getting same doubt so as per my knowledge what i'm uh, suggest to you you don't uh, need to buy any books or you don't uh, read any books for learning english because if you're reading books means uh, you cannot understand uh, immediately or you cannot um, I receive that content because if you read the books means uh, that's the past actions like uh, one year back or ten years back or uh, past decades uh, uh, they mentioned in that content only if you read that content uh, like if you check history books uh, that's uh, like uh, so much uh, uh, decades uh, uh, back they mentioned that content so you you cannot uh, understand uh, properly how uh, uh, you don't know that uh, some vocabularies uh, so this kind of facilities uh, is uh, we cannot um, get easily from uh, that books so, so what can we do so uh, leave it uh, you don't buy any books or you don't revise any books for learning english uh, somebody telling you need to follow this book only then only are able to get english uh, if you are not uh, reading these books means uh, you cannot uh, uh, learn english properly or it will take so much time for learning english these kind of things they are telling but you don't believe these kind of things because if you read the books means it will take a lot of time we cannot understand some people are understand but a lot of people are not understanding well reading the books because and there's a past actions see uh, what i'm suggest to you you can check one newspaper uh, like any newspaper uh, you can like it see if you take newspaper means uh, that's uh, like a day by day activity so what is uh, uh, going on in the stage wise uh, or central wise or national international level what is going on day by day you can if you see the content uh, if you see the pictures in the newspaper you can understand very well oh yes uh, yesterday i saw in the newspaper oh yes uh, today uh, this is happening so you can understand very well if you are not able to understand that content also if you look at the picture you can understand very well oh this uh, content uh, belongs to this one so okay yesterday happened this one uh, so they mentioned like this uh, like uh, if you take movies uh, uh, any uh, paper like um, a sports paper you are uh, uh, like uh, uh, so much uh, importance given to uh, cricket uh, or any sports related content also is there in the newspaper you can read that content or you are uh, liking any hero or hero in uh, that content also available every day in the newspaper or else uh, a business paper is there or editorial paper is there or political paper is there or um, international paper is there so each and every aspect uh, uh, is available in the newspaper that is a day by day action that the present day updated content uh, and uh, whatever we are required that vocabularies they are mentioned uh, in the day by day activities uh, if you read uh, uh, two three months regularly that newspaper means uh, uh, same vocabularies uh, same content uh, same matter uh, same uh, sentences they are framing so you can understand very well initially uh, we don't know how to write the newspaper but if you if you are a start from the newspaper means it will take three four time uh, for um, understanding that content once if you understand that content means after uh, uh, you are uh, uh, so much uh, giving importance to read this newspaper because uh, whenever you are read the newspaper uh, Mm, that uh, vocabularies and uh, some grammar everything you need to understand and everything you need to observe uh, while reading the newspaper so what i'm suggest to you don't buy any book or don't um, read any book because we cannot understand properly while reading the books that's a uh, uh, what is that uh, uh, newspaper is the very good advantages for learning english because uh, day by day activities is there uh, day by day what is going on we should know about that content uh, very easily whenever uh, that picture depiction picture depiction also i explained in initial videos 
so that is the best example for learning english picture depiction means so whenever you are a look at picture you can talk to yourself or you can express to yourself to others if somebody is there beside with you or um, nobody was there beside with you also you can express your your way that is called a picture depiction whatever you are looking that uh, content whatever you are seeing that uh, environment uh, you can express yourself uh, that is called a picture depiction so this is the uh, good advantages uh, is there in the newspaper also you are uh, looking so many pictures in the newspaper you are uh, looking uh, so many dimensions in the newspaper so if you are not understanding that content also you can express uh, yourself only see if you look at just that a uh, picture like a cm or pm or anything happened in that uh, newspaper means uh, without to reading that content also you can express yourself in english this is the best advantages for learning english because initially uh, we thought uh, like that uh, we need to purchase so many books we purchased uh, so many books uh, and um, we didn't read one book also just to uh, for name seeking purpose i want to learn english uh, that enthusiasm that excitement is there initial initial day so we purchased uh, so many books uh, but later on what happened we didn't read one page also see completely wastage of that books only even uh, Uh, that uh, dictionaries uh, and uh, some novels uh, some authors uh, some can uh, like um, movie like so many books we purchased initially but uh, i'm truly telling to you one book one page also we didn't write that books so that is why i'm telling daily newspaper how much eight uh, rupees is there in the newspaper just you have to follow at three to four months i mean so you will get a lot of content in the newspaper you will get a lot of vocabularies you will get a lot of um, uh, sentences how to frame each and every aspect you need to get in the newspaper so this is what i'm telling to you see books are uh, doesn't matter to learning english or improving english yeah. just uh, this is a myth only we are always uh, following which kind of books which uh, kind of institutes are providing for learning english uh, any shortcut is there in the book if you if i want to improve english means uh, any shortcut is there books uh, like that we are always uh, purchasing we are always uh, searching for uh, that books but whenever you are purchasing that books we we didn't read uh, that one only just buying and uh, keeping at a home and uh, after uh, I'll leave it that books so. so there is no useful for uh, that kind of uh, books so that is the reason no need to worry or no need to uh, do anything about uh, that book point of view just you need to take uh, newspaper only this is the best advantage this is the best technique for uh, learning english because uh, that um, everyday activities is there day by day content updated and uh, whatever uh, we are doing now that kind of vocabularies they are giving so so many aspect is there while reading the newspaper not only for uh, improving in the vocabulary sir sentence but also you are improving in the uh, communication skills also because the debate hi if you read in the newspaper means in your mind only thinking how to frame the sentences how to find out the mistakes in the grammar and how to speak also you can learn it very well about your newspaper reading so this is the best advantages for learning english because if you read more and more in the newspaper means you can write it very well about your that content also see after reading the newspaper again you can check uh, one or two pages and you can write it yourself whatever you are reading in the newspaper just you need to write two three pages every day means uh, this is uh, you can improve yourself a lot of things you can improve yourself no need to uh, go or no need to ask anybody else no need to search any books uh, for improving english uh, this is the best technique you need to follow a uh, five to six months of these things every day it will take one hour time but um, you have to do so much uh, groundwork newspaper reading is uh, not only for uh, a learning uh, process but also it is uh, uh, so many dimensions uh, it is useful for uh, so that is what i'm telling to you uh, because initially we followed this kind of uh, things so that's the reason we improved a little bit english uh, so now also we are uh, doing same thing every day we are uh, reading newspaper and making uh, some vocabularies and uh, making some sentences and uh, uh, making some notices for 
uh, learning english so this kind of things we are uh, doing now so that is the reason we are expressing same way because uh, we are doing something we are expressing something means uh, that's uh, that is uh, not work out for learning english so so whatever we are doing uh, same things we are expressing so that is the reason i'm telling to you you need to follow only newspaper no need to go anywhere else no need to buy anything about english and no need to uh, spend one rupee money for learning english also you can uh, start from yourself you can learn from yourself you can teach uh, to or somebody else also it will take some time but uh, definitely you will get a better english uh, compared to uh, other aspirants so this is the best technique uh, don't worry i will be there with you i if uh, you have any queries you can ask me you can text me i will be there with you i will teach you i will guide you okay uh, till then bye bye uh, tomorrow we will check another session and uh, i will experience uh, so many dimension for learning english uh, don't worry but uh, so my side is uh, each and every aspect i can express uh, my way but um, your side you need to do so much groundwork at least uh, a minimum one hour to two hours uh, uh, for a day you need to spend uh, then only you are able to get english otherwise it's a uh, very difficult to learning english okay uh, don't worry i will be there uh, tomorrow i will check one more session till then bye bye please like and share and subscribe this video as much as possible uh, you inform to our friends or relatives our family members also okay bye bye